Copyright protects a wide range of creative works, including original literary, dramatic, musical and artistic creations, such as poetry, novels, plays, songs and computer software. It's an automatic right which comes into being as soon as the work is created, so you don't have to register your book with us and there are no fees to pay and no forms to fill in. When I started writing the book, I was, was really conscious about copyright. I think I'd read somewhere that J.K. Rowling doesn't even open her own mail in case she was later accused of, of stealing a suggested storyline from a fan who sent her their unpublished novel. You know, I wrote the book over a few years in everywhere from cafes to libraries to parks to bars to buses to trains to trams. And I knew that my story and characters were original and it was really important to me that I made sure that I protected them. Bob Dylan's one of my biggest heroes ever and um, when I was writing the book I, it kind of came to a juncture in the story that it became really apparent that I kind of really really wanted to use a lyric from one of his songs on Blonde on Blonde. I spoke to my publishers uh, to find out the right protocol to make sure I wasn't infringing copyright. Basically it involved um, writing a letter to his record label uh, and received confirmation back from them that I could use the lyrics without infringing copyright. When the book is published, Dan as author will retain the copyright, but certain rights we have acquired so that we can effectively publish the book and sell the rights overseas. When we publish the book, we have acquired the, the rights for the full term of the copyright, which is 70 years from the death of the author. For that instance, Dylan Thomas, who died in 1953, is still in copyright. If for any reason the book goes out to print, the copyright returns to the author who can then sell it on to another publisher or to another form. The author usually retains uh, film and TV rights in their work which may be adapted uh, into other mediums. Um, these may be retained by the agent on behalf of the author, but we don't usually acquire these rights. Occasionally work from books will be serialised in new newspapers and magazines and the author will be received for a percentage of anything that is sold in this form. And this is also the case for books that go out in translation to other languages. The author will receive a percentage which is in their contract. I spoke to Path Ian, who were my publishers, and they really, really switched on about the copyright and the legal side of things. Um, and their advice really was to, to join the Society of Authors. Uh, I became a member of the Society, uh, and as part of the membership fee, um, you get almost 24-7 advice um, on the legal and the copyright infringement side of things, which may not seem it at the time, but later when the book comes into print, you realise that, that that's a really important part. So here are our top copyright tips to consider if you are a writer. One, to prove you are the copyright owner, there are certain steps you can take. Sign and date your material. Keep earlier drafts. Lodge the work with an IP specialist, a solicitor, or indeed a bank manager. You can even send the material to yourself, recorded delivery, but make sure you do not open the envelope when it arrives on your doorstep. Two, ensure that in any contracts, for example with any publishers, it clearly states who owns the copyright in your material. Three, before using anybody else's copyright material, make sure you get permission of the copyright owner. Four, when the work is published, you may choose to use the copyright symbol, the C in a circle, together with your name and the year of creation. Although not essential in the UK, in some countries it may be. This shows who the owner is and who to seek permission from if the work is going to be used. For further information, visit our website www.gov.uk forward slash IPO.